we are actually about to make it out. Don't even think about oofing in the obby right now. Don't do the uh, oof. Alright, guys, I think I just did it. First successful robbery. So Mad City just got an update this weekend, they added like the new pyramid robbery and I believe that's like the main thing that they added. There's maybe a few codes and some other stuff, but let's go ahead and go take a look at this new thing over here. Okay, so obviously, gonna go ahead and escape jail. Perfect, got ourselves a rope, very first uh, box, that's a very, very amazing. So we can go ahead now and just come on over here, get ourselves a Warhawk and fly over there. I'm in a VIP server right now so I can show you this and I can leave and rejoin to reset the robbery, do a few of uh, various tests and see like what exactly is the best way to rob what's it called the pyramid and uh, yeah so anyway let's go ahead get over here inside of the uh, warhawk and uh, now uh, we wait for it to uh, power up come on there we go and here we go to the pyramid as you can see on the uh, map there is an indicator and then just right over here the desert is closer to the uh, prison than any of the other robberies which is good so that means like whenever you're grinding on a vip server you can go like uh, what's it called pyramid jewelry store bank nightclub because you know something like that at least that's the method i use okay but oh yeah Look at this, guys. First time inside of the pyramid, all right? So let's go ahead and then just go on uh, through the obby here. Okay, so here we go. Just uh, do this and, uh... What do you mean? That's impossible. You literally cannot go through that. All right, we gotta do this again. Yeah, we, we have to look at this thing one more time, all right? So let's go ahead, come over here, get ourselves a Warhawk one more time. This time, let's not oof at the spikes, because oofing at the spikes is what Creedcraft does, and we're not Creedcraft, so we shouldn't be oofing at the spikes, okay? That was my first look at the obby, so uh, it doesn't really count. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. I think I know exactly what happened there. I might have seen, like, some bit of, like, some pressure plates, maybe what it looked like, but let's go ahead and try avoiding those now, because I thought you were supposed to, like, uh, step on those things to, like, dodge, like, what like might fall but turns out nope that's what the uh, spikes come out of all right so let's go ahead come on over here and this time we're gonna dodge those things yeah that's how we go through and these uh swinging balls they're uh, very very easy literally like you just wait for them to pass it's just like a jewelry store laser this creecraft might have a bit of trouble trouble with that but uh, we're gonna go ahead and go on through here the fire's fairly simple i'm not sure if you can make this jump oh wow you actually can't whoa what do you mean ball i freaking hate this ball this ball, you little piece of junk. Where in the world did the ball even come from, guys? The freaking hacker, okay? Freaking, freaking cheating ball, okay? I don't like you, stupid little lava piece of junk. All right, now, uh, can I get into my Warhawk? Yes, we can. Let's do this one more time. This time, we're not oofy, okay? This time, I'm gonna tell you, we're not gonna go oof. If we go oof, then, uh, you know, Creecraft can give me 1L in Jailbreak, and that's it, 1L. All right, let's do this one more time. All right, here we go. Now we're back inside of the pyramid for the third time. Let's go ahead and uh, attempt this robbery successfully this time, all right? So here we go. Through here, we know to avoid the uh, plates over there because they trigger the uh, spikes. And now we go ahead and just uh, run on right over here, just like this. And uh, through the, the fire things as well. Okay, yeah, the fire things are just like the uh, swinging balls except horizontal. All right, balls, don't even think about coming here. I think we dodged these balls. It's like the Lumber Tekken 2 Volcano, okay? This reminds me of that. I think I know how to do this very, uh, kind of decently, all right? Uh, please don't come near me, balls. I don't... Holy cow, that was too close. That was too close. All right, okay, come on. Don't come near me. Perfect! I think we're going into vault this time. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. Here we go into the vault. How much money do we get? Okay, it's 500 per second times 40, which is usually what the other ones are, like, like the nightclub, it is 300, and then you multiply it by 40, you get, you get a 12,000, something like that. So I think this will give, like, a 28,000 cash. Now, what about the uh, chicken head over here? This is a scam. This robbery is 100% a scam, guys. Look at this. When you take that thing, it just oofs. It makes you literally go kapoof, all right? Not cool. I don't like that. And of course it closed. So let's go ahead and go on to a new server. Alright, so just joined another server. We got ourselves a rope once again. Let's go ahead and just uh, come on over here, place the uh, rope real quick. And this time, I think I know exactly how to go through it now, okay? We should not be oofing inside of the stores anymore. And here we go back at the, uh, what's it called, a place over here. I believe this is like a teleportation door because like you can see all of the uh, icons are like right below us. So that means like we have to be clearly above the city. Okay, this time we're gonna go through here without taking a single 
single L, please. All right, game, I just want to go through here without taking any Ls. Let me do that, all right? Here we go through these spike balls right now. Spike balls, honestly, not that hard. I kind of feel like the balls are probably the hardest thing to in the uh, obby, all right? But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and go on through here. Balls, don't even think about rolling on me now, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and see. Okay, yes, there is a ball coming over here. Don't crush me, okay? I'm a completely innocent bacon hair. Don't even think about ruining the bacon, okay? You stupid salad hair. Okay, don't be a stinky salad ball. Don't even think about being a stupid salad hair, okay? No. Holy cow, that was too close. That was so close. Okay, now, finally, we're inside of the vault. Let's get ourselves max amount of money. We know to not touch this stupid piece of chicken over here. Because that chicken is what I call a stinky snot knocker, alright? It's gonna make everyone go oof. Pretty sure when Creecraft plays this for the first time, he's gonna go over here and, like, uh, press E on this thing and take an L or something like that. So right now, the indicator seems to be stopping at 15,000. So I was expecting something like 20,000 cash was gonna be the amount for this robbery, but turns out, no, it's not. Alright, let's go ahead and go down here again. Don't even think about spawning any balls. Don't spawn any. Dang it, it spawned. That's not good. We're gonna have to run gonna have to run way over here out of its way come on can we beat the ball can we beat the ball i think we're beating it i think we are beating the balls guys yes and i'm pretty sure now all we have to do is do this thing in reverse holy cow this is intense all right let's do this all right here we go next step perfect and can we do this oh yeah oh yeah mr Krabs. let's let's do this come on all right don't touch that okay Ho holy moly we are actually about to make it out. Don't even think about oofing in the obby right now. Don't do the uh, oof. Alright, guys. I think I just did it. First successful robbery. We are out of the pyramid. Now all we have to do is make this to the criminal base without going oof. Some way or another, okay? So whoever's the creator of this game, don't make me fling out of my Warhawk anytime now, okay? If, I, if you do make me fling out of this thing, I'm gonna give you a gazillion million L's inside of the next time I'm in your game, alright? So yeah, don't, don't make me go oof here. Okay, here we go. At the criminal base, turns in exactly like any of the other robberies do, and boom! 15,000 cash, 1,000 XP from robbing this thing successfully. That's a lot of XPs, okay? That is definitely the most XP out of any of the other robbers. I believe Nightclub gives like a 800 or something like that. So this is definitely the most amount of XP you can get from anything, okay? Even more than arresting, even more than robbing any of the other stores. And uh, yeah, you know what I mean. And probably more than uh, escaping jail because escaping jail gives you no XP now. I have a question here, okay? The Nightclub's open. And you know what we get from the nightclub, right? We get ourselves uh, the uh, key card. Can we rob the pyramid using the jetpack? Because I feel like now that I've been through the obby successfully, the jetpack will make it so much easier. You can just like fly over the balls. That will be insane. So let's go ahead and restart the server and see if that's possible. So all we really need for the nightclub, I believe, to do the uh, quest is a, a deagle or a pistol. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab one of those. And now we're going to go ahead, head back over here into our Warhawk and head over to the nightclub. Hopefully this works. If this does not work, then this obby is rigged, okay? That's like R-I-G-G-E-D, okay? Completely rigged. So now it's time to come rob the nightclub and get ourselves the, uh, what's it called? The key card. And then we can get ourselves a jetpack and see if the jetpack works. So we have ourselves yellow, uh, blue, uh, pink, and then yellow again. So that is the pattern. Let's go ahead and uh, write that thing down. And now we're going to go ahead and just go on through here. I'm not even sure if I'm going to rob it or not. I just really need the key card. That's all that really matters. And let's go ahead and come on through here just like this. And uh, go on. No, we're not oofing in a nightclub. Nightclub been in the game for like three months now. We're not going to go oof in here. It's called being a noob if we go oof in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do yellow blue pink yellow boom just like that it turned green now let's get ourselves the jetpack and here we go now we're at the top floor we can go ahead and come over here grab the secret storage we have ourselves a key card and now it's time to leave this nightclub there's no point robbing it right now because we all know how to rob the nightclub hopefully we do right yeah because uh, there's some people that still have no idea how this robbery works and they go completely oof, okay? And we don't want to go oof in here. This obby, honestly, is literally nothing compared to the uh, pyramid heist. Even though everyone thought this one was hard. That's why, like, literally half the Mad City population right now is, like, complaining so hard about the pyramid. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go on in here. Get ourselves a jetpack now at the airport. And then we're going to go rob the pyramid for the final time. So in case you guys don't know how to do the jetpack, here's like the final step in that tutorial. Let's go ahead and come on over here. Just hold E on this thing. It uses the key card and it opens this thing up. And we can go ahead and come take a jetpack. And now we're able to fly 
pretty much across anything. And now you can see why this thing will definitely help a lot in that robbery. Because we can just fly above half of the things inside of there. It's literally going to be the best thing ever. Now the only thing is if the developer made it disabled in here, that would not be cool. And I would not like that, alright? Because I know all the other robberies it works. Alright, can I fly? Come on! What is, what is this noise? Guys, I'm double tapping space and it's not going. Dang it, guys. Maybe I have to click the uh, red button on the back, but that's only making me punch. And it's still broken. So I guess um, the jetpack doesn't work in here then. Fine. Alright, alright, Mr. Tame Master. I'll go ahead and go through the obby normally, okay? I guess you don't want to know the CMOS cheating in here or something like that. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, come on over here do this one more time, okay? Final robbery of the pyramid. The pyramid is honestly not that hard once you get used to it, alright? Except when there's a uh, random yellow lava spheres trying to come oof you over here. That is not cool. I don't like this, this part at all, because like I said, you can just fly above everything. It will make life so much easier, you know what I mean? So, um, don't do it. Okay, good. Now, okay, shoot. That was too close. That was way too close. Okay, basically you just have to zigzag through here and hopefully not get hit by one of those things. And finally, we are inside of the pyramid. Now this time I'm going to try one more thing. Maybe we can sneak out of the pyramid by literally just waiting it out up here. And then when we get timed out, it'll teleport us out. Maybe that works. It definitely will take a long time, but let's go ahead and try that thing out. Okay, so first thing you gotta do is just chill inside here at 10,000 cash right now. Just cycle a few more seconds here and 15,000. And now we just wait. Okay, how long will it take for this thing to shut down and then teleport us to the bottom? Six and a half hours later. So that took about two minutes waiting to get out of here. That is a long time. But hey, we're out of here and we're alive. And we didn't have to struggle to do the obby two times, okay? That's a good thing, okay? If you want to wait in here for two minutes, by all means, wait in there. Especially if you're not the best at the obby, okay? Somehow, if you made it through once, just wait over there if you don't want to take any chances. It's only two minutes and then come out. It's plus, it's like way shorter than a 20 minute, which is the Roblox AFK timer. And yeah, now we can go ahead and come over here. The game already turned nighttime. That is how late it is now. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just come on over here just like this and just fly on in here and boom, another 1500 cash and another 1000 XP. And I guess some um, that is basically how to go through the pyramid without going oof. So we figured it out like after trial and error the first few times what's the best way to go through it. So now hopefully you know exactly how you go through the pyramid. There's two options to get out. You either go through the obby again or wait until time's up and then you can like uh, get teleported back to the bottom. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to press like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below other things I'm going to do in Mad City. And I'll see you guys next time.